Well, we decided to do this uh, mayonnaise seminar here in, in Sevilla because I think that's our commitment with our customers and with the, with the industry here in, in Iberia. I think that we have developed a very interesting technology for uh, cold emulsions production. So I think I would say that this was our obligation. I mean, we have to share that with, with our customers. These are three selected food trends that we think is highly relevant to dressing and condiments. And consumers look, are looking for naturalness and fewer and cleaner ingredients. Consumers are seeking simplicity in addition to better quality foods. We are reading product labels more than ever to look for ingredients that we recognize and feel good about. To the surrounding states are creating very intense mixing and emulsification. That is in high shear mode. In low shear mode, the state is lifted up, so now the outlet flow from the impeller bypasses below the stator, creating more gentle blending. By on top of this, adjusting the speed of the rotor, you can adjust the shear input to match exactly the required needs. Each producer has a different starting point for innovation. And our breakthrough is how our unique method can predict consistent mayonnaise quality in every scale of production, no matter how versatile the range of recipes and ingredients. And I have showed how to make it easier to connect the process to the targets of quality. We have a software program where we can predict the product quality related to different key ingredients, related to values on texture, if it should be more saucy or more firm, to a drop size, and we know how to do it, the mixing method, what the speed and the time should be, and how we elaborate with the stator. Bueno, pues he asistido a las jornadas, las primeras jornadas sobre la mayonesa, y la verdad que está siendo una jornada muy productiva y muy intensa porque nos están facilitando un montón de datos técnicos. Estamos haciendo incluso pruebas, hemos podido probar el producto. The test bag Heisia makes is the best solution for making mayonnaise and dressings and sauces. It is because it's most flexible, it's most cost efficient solution and then it allows you to control the quality parameters over a wide range. Pues la verdad que si quieren cumplir las expectativas porque Nos, yo ya conocía la tecnología que propone Tetra Pak para estas soluciones, pero siempre se te escapan eh, determinados detalles, eh, como por ejemplo la solución en continuo, que me ha venido muy bien refrescarla porque es una forma muy sencilla de, de ampliar tu capacidad productiva de forma muy rápida y, y, con, y poco agresiva para el proceso productivo. Se están cumpliendo las expectativas porque buscábamos una forma diferente y sobre todo el, dentro de la buscamos flexibilidad e innovación técnica. Sí, está superando las expectativas. So to conclude this, you have the diverse range of recipes and ingredients. There is one way to to apply the procedure and by that with a less shear to the ingredient, we can get, uh, give more texture naturally. And also, as you saw from the demonstration, we can slim the mixing time by adding the oil fast and give a, a, a short batch time and a high texture. We have the highest flexibility. We are able to control product quality parameters in the widest range. And we do that with the highest efficiency, meaning that lowest cost per kilo product. We also would like to look at how we can set up the different line setups for you. How could we uh, secure that you can make a broad range of sources in your factory? Um, I will talk a little bit about that, how we can set up. Start maybe with a mixer and how we can uh, uh, change with your future demands. You have one demand today, but the future demands we also need to take it into account when you grow or when your demand is changing.
And at the moment we are seeing one trend that we think we are here to stay, and that is the clean label trend. And we talked a little bit about what, what would that have, what is that? What is the clean label trend and how would that affect the production line set up really? Well, clean label, what is it? Well, Rika talked all about more natural, more good for me and uh, what the consumers think uh, they would like to have. So what we see when we say more natural, we see less E numbers. And how we can evolve your business uh, when your volume is increasing and how you can set up the plant in a more efficient way. Uh, and the takeout from that is that you can really do big leaps depending on one type of mixer uh, can be put in so many positions and can increase the capacity and normalcy depending on how you do uh, the plant layout. My takes out is that this was really a, a success. We could have a very interesting dialogues with our customers, we exchange some experience, so uh, I think that we learn from each other.